Hello everyone. Um, this is my uh, Ludicia Discolor or Jewel Orchid. Um, I got this in a 4 inch pot last uh, February of this year um, in one of the Orlando Orchid Show. And I have this in the video, uh, my or my Valentine orchid hole, and it's in there in the, uh, in that video. Anyway, um, I want to share with you how I care for this uh, Ludicia this color. It's an orchid, but it's being collected for its uh, foliage, and this is the most common one actually, and. Um, and it's um, a lot, I found it this one is a lot cheaper than the others that's hard to find the green ones um, but yeah this is a indoor or house plant I put it in my front door where it's protected from uh, elements uh, the weather elements and I just uh, water it or put it out when uh, I feel like it needs to be outside like when it rains and I feel like it needs to be in the rain because I haven't watered it yet so I put it out but it is with my uh, Philanopsis area where it gets medium to low light so I feel like um, see how they're growing I think they are getting enough light because if not they get very tall and leggy and so far this is looking healthy so um what i did it that it didn't come in this pot actually this pot is a shallow shallow wide pot that i got from walmart a uh, few months back and i thought uh, that four inch regular pot the black pot that goes with it from nursery um, I think I'm gonna put out a picture of how it looks like before um, I thought I'm gonna repot it and then this is the available the one that I see that's best suited for this orchid jewel um, by the way if you're not familiar with this one it has it flowers but it's very tiny white flowers so um, I decided to repot it. This is a terrestrial plant and it came in a peat moss. So what I think about the pot with the peat moss um, because as you can see this plant loves moist because of you see the stem it's full of water but it's also very thin the outer layer is thin that you can easily overwater them so it comes in peat moss in a deep four inch pot and I decided well I, I'd like to put it here and if it has a long roots I just have to manage to spread it sideways so anyway when I open it it's actually doesn't have long roots it's got short roots so and I managed to see how they uh, the they grow it kind of lay down on the side so the wide pot is really good for it because it kind of nestle them and it brings out the how wide they are and they're not hanging uh, leggy on the side if you have a small pot so it looks nice like this so i'm just showing you how you know best i think to repot your Ludicia this color and then um, the other thing is because it was in peat moss I feel like and it's in a kind of deep pot I feel like if I water it if I feel it if it's dry or moist I can only feel the top layer of it but the actually the bottom part is still wet so I think this is why I decided to put it in a shallow pot um, so um, another thing that I changed I also decided to put it in a small fine bark so this one 
so I changed it from peat moss so I was not sure that it will work but yeah this is a fine small bark fair bark and I mix it with the sponge rock see and this granite is the top the 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 pot I mean the top layer that I put in here it's just a granite so I can tell if it's still wet because the granite still it shows darker in color and also the bark but what uh, the good thing about it being it also is a shallow pot you can actually water it even every day I water it sometimes if it's too hot every day especially when you just potted it the first two weeks I actually make sure I water it until the the plant can accustom to its new media so and then um, after that I just water it every other day if I see that the media is still wet being it looks dark then I don't water it so um, and when it rains I put outside in the rain and if it's peat moss probably it already um, rotten if I put it outside in the rain but this one did okay actually it really loves it and as you can see there's also different uh, plant there that grows so that means the area underneath it is is a good media for um, other plants too so yeah and after I repotted it I also put in um, slow release fertilizer yeah so that's so every time I water it or it got rain then it gets fertilized so yeah I think they are doing well and they're growing healthy and I thought I'm gonna share it with you because they look so pretty in this spot it's not just growing it healthy but they look nice in this spot so yeah if you own one or if you wanna own one of this then yeah this is uh, something an idea for you that you can do it you know you can make it look good like this and then when it uh, multiplies then if it's a lot you can put it in a bigger pot and it also gonna look nice I think yeah so this is another idea I, I this is actually my first uh, or jewel orchid that I owned uh, and then I decided to change the media instead of the the soil mix or something thicker I end up with this media and pot so and yeah I really like it how it turned out so I'm probably planning to get a different color too yeah we'll see um, how it goes but this one really looks pretty and this hasn't even flowered yet but I think when I got it it has a flower so yeah but the foliage is good enough you know for this plant to look pretty yeah see that So I hope you learned something guys and yeah thank you for watching and hope to see you again on my next videos. Thank you. Bye.